Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy here. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna tell you how I made my little curly whirlies. So I recently did a hat tutorial. Um, you can make this with or without pom-poms, curly whirlies, and it would just be a nice beanie. But um, for this one, I made five, and these are slightly longer than the original ones I made, um, which are here. But it's ever so simple. And I'm going to use this yarn because I think it might be easier for you to see the stitches because of the way this colour changes all the time. So let's just grab, pull out some yarn. So for my hat tutorial, I used a five millimetre crochet hook. So you'll also need a pair of scissors for this and possibly a darning needle just to attach it although we leave a nice long tail both ends for attaching it to the hat or whatever it is you want to make your curly whirly for. So we just need a slip knot, which you can do um, any way you normally would. And for this particular one, I crocheted 24 chain. And with this one, it was 20 chain. So um, you can just um, do however many you you think really so um i'm going to do 24 because i quite like them longer so i'm um, just gonna do the 24 chain which is ever so simple as you know it's so over the hook and through so i'm going to pause it because there's nothing worse than somebody counting at the same time as you but i'll be back in a sec okay so there we are i've got a nice long chain now i always do one for luck so that um, i know i've got 24 stitches to do so we're not going to go into the first stitch from our hook. We're going to go into the next one. And we're just going to do four UK um, double crochets, which are US single crochets in that same stitch. Now this will get really bunched up, which is what makes it curl. So in the, oops, I'm dropping it. I'm just going to show you it and I dropped it. So in the very next one, next to it there, we're going to do another four. Okay, you can see it curling already. Now in the next one, right next to it, we're going to do four. So sometimes if they bunch a little, it's hard to see which is the next one but you have to make sure you go into them all or it won't curl evenly. You'll have a, a gap. Okay, so in the very next one, get that out of the way, we're going to do another four. Some people do three, but I like the tight little spiral. So now you can see, you just need to coax it into turning. Sometimes it does it on its own. And other times you'll get this gap where you think you haven't done it properly, just twist it and it all goes okay. So each and every single one of them, we're going to do four. Okay, in the next one, wants to get in the way. And one more in there. And then just see, there's the next one. And we do four in that one. It's quite easy. They look as if they'd be difficult, but they're really not. Okay, so then we just keep it spiraling and then into the next one with our four. And that, believe it or not, is all you do. That was fluffy. Okay, and in the next one. You didn't want to be um, left out, so she decided to give you a big meow. Okay, I think I need to pull out some more yarn. Just bear with me a sec. Okay, just keep twirling it round. Okay, in the next one, we'll do four.
and again all the way along this is really beautiful yarn that um, I made my hat with it is Starcraft Amour Aran and um, it is absolutely beautiful um, all of the ones that I've used so far I really do love these and um, this is actually currently one of the top sellers in my online yarn shop hobby rocks which if you wanted to sort of have a look it's www.hobbyrocks.co.uk and i do ship most all over the world i mean i've been doing it gradually so at the moment we have the usa canada australia and new zealand we have malta and cyprus we've got ireland and I've lost count now, I think that was three. Um, so yeah, we're gradually adding countries. And if someone says, oh, would you ship uh, here next? Then we add it. So there we go, four in the next one. And every now and then just give it a little turn and you can see it's spiraling nicely. So for my hats, I did four of these curly whirlies on one of the hats and five on the other but the one that's done in this color i did five because i just felt there was one this seemed like there was one missing on the other hat but i don't know oops it because it's quite tight and bunchy there is a bit of a danger that you will either go into the wrong stitch or miss one so you have to keep your eye on which one is the next stitch and how many you've done. I've only ever done these with four. But as I said, some people say they've done three. Okay, we're not getting there. Got a little way to go. Could pause it but we're nearly there i've forgotten the color that the name of this color but there are a few that are really nice the hats are made berry and dusk and this one which uh i wish i could remember the name but it's a more of a rainbow dusk is like a dusky version oh we're nearly there guys nearly there Nope, nearly went into the wrong stitch. It's very easily done because it is quite congested. Congested with stitches. I need more yarn already. Okay, didn't need to pull out much. Uh, one more in there. That was three. And a couple more. And I will show you how we end off and attach. Last stitch in there. Okay. So we leave a nice long tail and snip it off with our scissors. Okay, so we're just going to end off the way we normally would any of our work. I do one chain, cinch it down and pull it through. So see what I mean? This is sometimes this happens and it's not that you've done anything wrong. You just need to twist it, give it a, a little bit of encouragement to not be out of a line. There we go. So there we are. We're all nice and curled. Now I, at this point with mine, I tied these two ends together. Um, where are we? There's one. You don't have to do this part, but I just tied them together, which kind of gave me one attachment, if you like. And then through the top part of my beanie, I put a darning needle through both of these, because if you twist them like that, you can get them 
both through your darning needle quite easily and then I just popped it up through the hat and I made sure that this little knot part followed me so I didn't have any kind of long bit sticking out I just pushed the whole lot in and then once I'd got one in I sewed it in and then I put another so as I said this one has five um, of the curly whirlies and on this one I just had the four and they are shorter as well these but um lots of possibilities and that's how you do it so thank you for watching uh, if at any point they become a little bit you know undone like that then you just give them a twist and then all is right again thank you for watching stay safe take care and I'll see you on the next one bye for now